Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. So, I don't know how to say this. Like, I think I feel, I feel like a lot of things have happened today. Like, just a lot of things are are going on right now. Um, today, this is a this is not exactly a Monster Super League video. This is also a channel update video. Um, I want to I wanted to talk a little bit about just um, how I started Monster Super League and also. Um, why I'm making this video. So, news is I just got news just now that I was um, I was rejected from from UC Irvine. I was uh, I was trying to get in, and I was I was like it was kind of the reason why I started playing Monster Super League in the first place. Uh, the main reason I started playing Monster Super League was I, you know, I'm a I'm a gaming addict. I just uh, I, I can't stop playing video games. Um, but then I was writing my study plan for for Irvine, and then I I quit Summoner's War during the during that time, and I wanted to have a game on the side that I can play passively and stuff, and still feel like I'm doing something. Um, so I, I decided to pick up Monster Super League. I, I fa happened to find this game, picked up Monster Super League, and just instantly fell in love with it. Started making these summoning videos, um, and started uh, making content regularly for the game, and. Yeah, definitely. I definitely don't regret putting in any of the effort that I did for um, for getting into trying to get into Irvine. I tried to, I like it was really insane. Like the the story was pretty insane. I I wasn't planning on going back to school. I was basically um, planning to just move back to Canada for good, and and just you know start a career there basically. And I I, I wasn't um, planning on going back and and. And studying and stuff, um, and I, I really didn't didn't want to do that. But then I, um, um, I was just talking to my dad, and then we we just came up with this 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 plan to, um, you know, combine YouTube and combine the resources for in in a in a university to to make like a sort of like a platform that that you can you can. Um, it's a it's a very complicated process. It's basically like a platform of, um, of like you know just content creators and streamers and stuff. And and um, it was gonna start small. It was gonna start small with just like starting a new channel. But the channel was gonna be put together by a lot of people that wanted to um, play certain games. And it was it was going to be just like a mixture of a lot of uh, different content creators. And then like you know working together on one channel to. To try to make it, um, try to make it bigger, and also um, it was also going going to be because there was a lot of things to do. Like there's not that many people. Like well, actually, there's probably if you just look on YouTube, there's a lot of people doing um, regularly doing YouTube. But there's a lot more people that are watching YouTube than actually making YouTube videos. Um, so, so. Um, you know, as as someone that was already doing YouTube, I we we just thought of an idea to kind of combine this and combine combine basically, um, you know, making content and also academics together to to make like a new subject or something like that. Um, it was it was the original idea for for me getting into Irvine, and um, yeah, that was that was a. Uh, so we we got came up with that idea. I um, I didn't have any. I wasn't e even prepared for, to do anything, and I I found out I needed to take the GRE. I needed to take the TOEFL, and I basically like within a month um, I studied for the GRE and I studied for the TOEFL and I um, and I took the exam. I think I scored okay. It was like you know just my GRE score was like it was decent. It was like you know just slightly above average um, did really well in the TOEFL because you know my English is not that bad um, and yeah and, and I and I applied um, and was waiting for news until now until I until I um, until now that I, I, I got rejected I'd be lying if I if I said I wasn't disappointed um, maybe I don't know Maybe just a little bit full of rage as well, because I, I I do rage really hard. Just watch all my Mona summoning videos. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to want to share that with you guys. Just part of my part of my journey um, along the way, because I think the two things are really connected together. If I if I wasn't planning on doing that, I probably would not have started playing Monster Super League. I probably would would not have started. Um, started to bring my channel back to life again. So I'm definitely really really thankful that. Um, 
that I I decide to to uh, go through this process, you know. So it was it was it was pretty good. It was all in all really really nice. Um, this video is gonna end with me doing a lot of rebirths for the Mona because the new update just hit. I'll do a proper review tomorrow, but I think I can I can take a really quick look at the changes right after this clan battle. So for my clan battles, I normally don't really focus on anything. I just um, I, I I really don't care. Like I don't think I, our our clan is super super casual. Like nobody gives a shit. I I'm really too lazy to even make a team, so I just click the auto option, and I still do pretty well. Like I've I've been missing a few fights, but you know just with some random units, I can still do like five percent of his HP. So it's definitely definitely not that bad. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of new monsters out, like, I, I just got back from the gym and there was a whole bunch of monsters, and that's why I decided to also make this video, just so many things happen all at once. Um, you know, it was, it was actually a really close call, I happened to get four Dark Truffles right before the event ended, so if I, if I really wanted a Light Venus, um, they're gonna have another, another Fire Truffle event in the future, so I think I, I'll be safe in rebirthing my Fire Truffles, um, and I can still get a... I can still get a Venus, um, but yeah, this video is definitely gonna end with me, <laughs> with me rebirthing like like all my monsters that I have right now. But before we do that, let's just let's just take a really really quick look at um, at the at the um, at the new monsters that just came out. So this is the Garuda. This is the basically the actually should I take a look at the Sieg Siegfried first? Um, yes, let's take a look at this guy. So this guy's a new summonable Nat 5. Um, morale boost and elemental edge, so basically clan battle mon monster. Increased defense in clan battles, so, you know, it's pretty pretty straightforward, pretty strong clan battle mo monster. Um, but this is still an AoE skill. Oh wait, I can just switch and look at all the, all the elements just like this. The water one is Sap and Seal. Um, It's alright, it's alright. <laughs> I, I I don't have much to say about that one. Defense down and stun. This one's... Why is his rate so low? Like, he's a nat 5. I don't know. This should be like 100%. Actually, no. It's an AoE stun. Never mind. Okay, I think this is pretty fair. Yeah, AoE stun 100% would be too strong. Never mind. Just uh, ignore what I just said. Courageous Strike adds additional attack power to proportional to... Targets maximum HP. So this is um, this is for clan battles. So against bosses, the more HP they have, the more damage you do. And this is a defense aggressor, a dark defense aggressor. So if you happen to pull the the dark version of him, he's probably gonna be freaking OP as hell. Um, he does look pretty cool as well. So it's definitely really nice. So the other monster is um. Was there a four star? Yeah, there, there was a four star one too. The the Neza. Dang, she looks pretty cool. I like the design. I really like the design. All right, uh, we're just gonna take a really quick look at their skills. So second skill is AOE, um, single target AOE, and a nice variant skill for for defense, thirty to thirty five percent. So he's got the fire one's got attack down and defense down. So um, I think pretty good all round. Like it's, there's nothing wrong with these two debuffs. Like the, these two debuffs are useful everywhere in the game. Like they're useful for everything. So um, this is good. It's just it's just good. Like I don't think it's exceptional, but it's it's good. Attack down grants uh, or this is a uh, same thing. Um, I was gonna read this. <laughs> blind grants 60% chance to blind the enemy for two turns. Blind defaults. Critical rate is reduced. So basically, you reduce crit rate of enemies. 60% chance for two turns. I'm not sure what to think about this. I think it's it's still pretty good because um, if you stack attack down with blind, it means that the enemy is going to do a lot less damage. It's just very, like a very very defensive debuffer. Um, this like it's not like blind is not a strong debuff in, by itself. I don't think. Um, in my opinion, it's, I don't think it's like just reducing the crit rate is all that strong. But if you stack it with attack down, like um, because attack down would only, like if you already have attack down and then you put blind on the enemy, then they're gonna be 
doing barely any damage at all. So I, I think that's definitely pretty cool. Um, HP Siphon, this is, you know, the same skill as like the Snowy's Boltwing um, Wild Thing, you know, just steals life. And AoE Seal, 60% chance for one turn. I think that's all right. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's too good. Um, 100% chance blind. AoE Sap, two turns, 80% chance. HP Siphon, defense down. I think she's okay. Like none, none of the, none of them really stand out. Maybe except for the water one. I think the water one uh, might stand out a little bit more than the rest, but because she happens to have attack down plus blind, so I think she might be really good for um, for clan battles to be, like really really defensive. Um, all right. So the 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 last monster is the Gerudo, which is the clan battle monster. You can buy them with clan points. I'm not sure how many clan points. We'll take a look at that really quick right after um well wait let's just go and look at the the fire one and all the rest so this is a hundred percent seal it's only two turns so it's not as strong as the water nightmare but it's still still good because he's i think he's more obtainable you know i mean you can buy him with skill points um and he has an aoe stun 70 percent chance this is a pretty good monster this is actually pretty strong um defense down elemental edge so armor break, elemental edge, strong against clan battles. He also has a crit, critical, uh, critical hit rate, 20 to 25 percent, which is really, really high for clan battles. Adrenaline, courageous strike. I think this might be a little bit stronger. This is actually really strong. Damn, shock predator. Well, I, I hope the dark one is strong. Elemental edge and blind. It's all right. This is actually strong. This is this is, this is really OP. Two turn shock plus 80% chance. Two turn shock plus predator, and he's light type, so he has more crit rate. But he hits pretty damn hard. So I'm not sure how many points exactly you need to buy him. Um, I think it's actually quite a lot. Okay, my my review is already pretty detailed. I said it wasn't going to be a detailed review, but I, I lied. Alright, I lied. Um, wait, I thought it was a Garuda egg that you can buy. So you can buy buy the Siegfrieds from these. You need 800 points. Well, good luck farming that. It's going to take quite a long time. Um, and good luck trying to get them to Evil 3. Holy shit. Wait a minute. So he's actually the ones you can get from, from the eggs. Man, imagine summoning a dark one. Holy fuck! Look at this shit. Dark, Nat Five aggressor. Can you can you believe it? Dude, he would be the sickest shit in the world. Like he would. This is gonna be like, the new. He's a defender too. This is gonna be the new meta monster for um, Arena. I don't know if you can summon a. If you can even summon a dark version. From the eggs. I'm definitely going to start working hard on clan battles to try to get them. Um, yeah, I probably should work a little bit harder. So let's try to get my Mona. I They they finally removed the truffles from the rebirth, so I think my race might be a little bit better. Um, I only have four days left, and I actually don't have that many monsters to rebirth. I'm not sure. I, oh shit, I, I can only do it once. Maybe I should use my fire truffles. I mean... Yeah, fuck it. Why did it go dark? I don't know. I don't know what I should do. I kind of feel like raging. I feel kind of feel like uh, summoning some. I kind of feel like doing it. Did I do it? I mean, they're gonna have another event to capture more truffles in the future, right? And I only have four days to get, to get the Mona, so. Fuck it. They, they did say that they were going to have another event to capture more truffles in the future, so... I don't, I don't feel too bad about doing this.
No, my, my, my rates are probably still shit, like, to be honest, um... They're not gonna- they're not- they're definitely not gonna make my life easy. What if I use five Monas to do do the rebirth? Nope, my rates are still shit. Um, all right, that's that's pretty much it. Should I rage summon? Oh shit! Are there any like special packs that I can buy? No, there's none. If I run out of Astro Gems, I'm gonna be very sad. God damn it, I'm so fucking broke. Um. Okay, maybe I shouldn't do it. I, I should not do this. Persephone chance is up! Alright, let's do it! <laughs> fucking retarded. Persephone chance is up. This is this is the time to summon guys. This is the time. You wanna summon, do it now. Never know, you might you might just get that water Persephone that you've always wanted. Well, give me give me something nice on that that last summon. Oh, what? There's a new monster called the Medusa. I should I I I missed her. I didn't review her. Damn, there's the Coco for Fusion too. All right, my summons were complete garbage, but I don't I don't really give a shit because I'm going to be using them to rebirth for my Mona, all right? Let's do this. Hmm. Maybe I should have kept that Medusa. I have no idea what she does or if she's any good at all. Well, um, that was a waste of Astro Gems. That was a complete waste of Astro Gems. I'm so sad. I'm really sad. Um, there's, there's, there's nothing I can do. Like I, it's impossible. Like I, I feel like it's this is the end for me. It's the end of the line. Got double petrify. Sleep thirst. Uh, it's all right. Sap blind. Crit Elemental Edge, Blind Attack Down, yeah she's pretty meh. But what variant what variant leader skill does she have? Alright, this is only for elements, like fire, water, it's only for the same element. Um I'm sad, I'm very sad. I'm super sad right now. Wait, let's do one rebirth with only with my with with some Nafors. Let's just let's just do it, all right. I mean, what can I feed away? I don't think I need any of my succubus now, so I can start feeding my succubus. This makes one, two, and then um, maybe I don't need the banshees. I feel like I don't need the banshees. Three, four, and then um, the vampire. That makes five. Yeah, let's 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 do that. Fuck it. I don't, I don't give no fuck. Um. All right. Let's <laughs> let's do it once. Maybe maybe I'll get good luck. Maybe I'll get good luck doing this. All right. This is two one two. Don't need the Johns. The Johns are are shit. Three. Um. Wait, that was three. What else can I feed away? That I absolutely won't need. Um, 
probably the Banshees. These are pretty shit. Four and five. Okay, let's do it. Let's 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 fucking use four Nat fours to do rebirth. You guys are probably cringing super, super hard right now. But I don't give no fuck, alright? Wait, there's a wood succubus. As well. Wait, where's my last monster that I was gonna use? Yeah, this one. Okay, let's do this. I used th four star monsters. Four, five four star monsters to do one rebirth, and maybe, maybe it'll get me something nice. Moment of truth. Probably gonna be shit. Yes, I knew it. I knew it was gonna be shitty. <laughs> I'm so sad. You guys have no idea how sad I am. Um. Damn, I have nothing else to use. Oh wait, I have another variant. No, no, this is a four. This is an Evo three Mona. I probably shouldn't use that one. Okay, I'm out. I'm, 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 I'm out. I'm out. Wait, I'm not. I'm not done yet. I'm not done yet. I can, I can still. I can still do one more. Maybe. Wait. No, I can't. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. I can still do one more. I can feed that wood succubus away, and I can do one more. All right. Where the fuck is she? I can do one more. I I can do this. I feel it. I feel like this is this this is the moment. And if I don't do it, I'll always regret it. Here we go. Here we go. This is my last rebirth, all right? I got I got no more after this. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> Damn it, they're, they're, they're on to me. 433 is on to me. They, they know exactly what the fuck I'm doing. Alright, I'm done. I'm done. I, I got no more. <laughs> I have nothing else to rebirth. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, thank you guys for watching my, my Rage Rebirth videos again. I'm not sure if they actually increase the race with Mona. But I, I'm definitely not getting that evil, evil three Venus. I'm, I'm pretty fucked. Um, so, yep, back to farming. Back to farming. That's pretty much it. Um, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.